Dali, but welcome to my new craft space. Uh, I changed through the last two weeks all my room and uh, today I would like to show you a little sneak peek uh, how it looks like here now. So this is how my room looks now. Uh, I have painted my room to the white color. I need to cheer up uh, all this room because lately I felt like it's everything falling down on me and it was just too dark and too complicated to be here and to craft here and I still have few things to do so uh, today I'm gonna share with you very small craft and I'm gonna show you just this sneak peek it's nothing too much I still have uh, everything sort out the way I had before. I just added these new shelves and they need to get my touch as well because the color it's not what I want. So, so there will be changes and also here will be changes. It's just too wide and not vintage. So uh, through the time I will share with you how I am updating my room here is my birthday cake i just celebrated my birthday and my sons gave me a cake and also this new chair which is awesome because i can i can swing on it as well so for today i'm gonna eat my cake and i hope you will enjoy this video so today i'm coming to share with you how you can create from old envelope a cover for your mini journal it can be like travel journal as uh, here it's map so I'm gonna do travel book cover I'm gonna be using this uh, old envelope from nice craft paper it's very strong so for the cover it's the best choice and for the cover I'm gonna be using this beautiful uh, fabric First, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open that envelope for one large piece. I do have my envelope open. Now I'm going to measure how tall is my journal and how wide it is. I'm going to take my inches for that because I'm going to be then scoring. So inches will be better. My scoring board is in inches. So this is five and three quarter by four inches. So I'm going to count six inches and I'm going to cut the piece six inches wide. I do have cut it piece from that envelope and the size of it is 13 just bear with me 13 and 3 quarter by 6 I'm gonna take my scoring board and I'm gonna score this piece To hold my mini journal and also to make there a space for some openings so first I'm gonna score uh, one inch one and one eighth Now I'm going to score this width of my journal, so it's 4 inches here, so next score line will be 5 and 1 eighth. The spine of my journal is 1 and 1 eighth of inch, I would like to have the, uh, have the spine of my book cover wider. So I think one and one quarter of inch will be uh, will be enough. So that's mean till uh, six and seven eighths. And I would like to have that spine a little bit flexible. So 
every one eighth of inch between these two lines from five and one eighth till six and seven eighths i'm gonna score every one eighth of inch if that will be possible here is a little bit harder to score because there is the fault of my scoring board so i'm gonna just take it easily in there So this will be spine of my book. Now here I need to score again four inches, which is width of my journal. So it will be ten and seven eighths. And I'm gonna move <coughs> this score line on some number, maybe here. And again, I'm gonna score here one and one quarter of inch. Same. Uh, with like I did here on the spine I'm gonna do here so it will be here. so this one it's one and one quarter this is one and one quarter and again I'm gonna score every one eighth of inch in that spot So I do have all my score lines done and I'm going to fold all these score lines. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to take a bone folder and burnish every single one of these. I have folded all uh, of my folds. Uh, I'm gonna keep the side where the folds, these score lines are close to edge. I'm gonna keep them here on the left side. That will be closure of my book. So uh, I know which way I should add decorative paper on my fabric. So right here, uh, first I'm gonna apply this fabric. So I'm gonna use the, uh, this glue stick and to put put on this piece of cardstock a uh, nice thick layer of the glue and then I will use uh, the fabric on it and on the fabric I'm gonna be using one of the tissue papers I've got in my uh, on my Etsy it's this beautiful travel tissue paper so that's what I'm gonna be using on the fabric to give the fabric some kind of uh, design and to give the tissue paper texture so in the end it will looks like the fabric with this design so first i'm gonna apply the glue on all this space and i'm gonna be very generous <coughs> pardon me very generous with the glue Now I'm gonna take the fabric and place the fabric over the piece of my paper and place it nicely to the edges and press it all together. For pressing the fabric evenly I'm gonna be using brayer or I can use uh, some cloth and press with that cloth the fabric to the glue with this brayer I'm also spreading the glue on all that paper under the fabric I did fussy cut out the fabric all around of that paper piece and I'm gonna apply again a nice thick uh, layer of the glue on the fabric and 
And now I can add the tissue paper on the top and again with the brayer and cloth I'm gonna press it all together so the tissue paper will take the texture of the fabric. So first I'm gonna wipe it using this cloth to kind of press it all together and now very carefully because it is tissue paper it's fragile I'm gonna be pressing the tissue through the glue to the fabric and if somewhere it needs softer touch I'm gonna take the cloth and use the cloth but always very softly because I don't want to ruin the tissue and I can fussy cut out around so once you do have all uh, glued and fussy cut out around you need to let it dry so I'm gonna put it aside early today I made another one exactly same with same scoring so I'm gonna be using this one for now uh, because it's already dry so here I do have that first fold which will hold the journal later it will be slide right here and then it will be book cover around so now I can decorated inside and under there are some openings for that i'm gonna be using uh, papers from amsterdam amsterdam collection i do have it on my etsy link will be down below there is so many beautiful pictures uh, these background papers and lots of photos and ephemeras from amsterdam so if you like amsterdam and you would like to create some uh, journal with this theme I hope you will like this collection. So for inside I'm going to be using one of these papers and I think that this one will be actually the one I would like to use. My printer is not printing from the side to the side, it's printing with this white strip around. This time I'm going to keep it in there and I'm going to decorate it with something. So I'm going to cut the piece which will fit right here. I do have prepared the piece which I will add inside and now I'm gonna take a, another background paper and I will start to fold it and I will create some kind of openings and extra extra pieces as you can see my printer went crazy I'm not sure why but I can decorate the rest of which I don't have printed out so I'm gonna uh, I'm using 200 GSM a4 size papers it's beautiful and strong and it will be perfect for what I, what I would like to do so I'm gonna grab my paper place that paper right here and in the size of my cover I'm gonna fold the paper and which here seems to be slightly under the edge just very slightly under the edge about three eighths of inch or half centimeter so I'm gonna fold it in there I'm gonna open my paper and fold it half the long side or landscape like this and I'm gonna take my envelope punch board and with this envelope punch board I'm gonna punch the tap on this back piece which is uh, which is slightly longer and I think I'm gonna punch quite long tap so here Now I'm gonna flip it over and this end I'm gonna place on three, two and three quarter like this. I'm gonna cut this rest of paper off. So for that I'm gonna take my guillotine, put this edge, 
to the edge of my guillotine here for, to that knife and this to that knife as well and just cut the strip to make it kind of nice and straight so I do have tap on that back piece now I'm gonna take a scissors or rather I'm gonna rather take a, a ruler, ruler and knife so I'm gonna take a ruler and a knife and I'm gonna cut the paper here where is the fold to that middle cross take it there and cut the paper to that middle cross which is right here yes exactly Now I'm gonna lift this up so when I do have folded the paper this way so I can punch both of these sides the edge of them exactly same way so I'm gonna put this corner on the this number three here just to match it in there and punch and I'm gonna do same with this corner here place it on that number three and punch and here between those two valets, I'm gonna cut with the knife and ruler. So what I do have here, it's this paper here and the paper on the knee and little tap here on the top and it can, can be open down there and this way so i do have my uh, two pieces prepared first i'm gonna distress and um, decorate this for decorating this white edge I'm going to be using these strips, they are from perforated paper, uh, office perforated papers, so I'm going to just glue them on the edge and then glue the paper to my cover. I do have that inside decorated, this when this will be folded down it will be invisible so I'm okay with that I'm gonna take my sewing machine and do sewing all around of this piece I do have that sewing all around I'm gonna fold the spine and fold where there will be flap of my walk and even this one I need to let it dry properly to make sure everything will hold on the right spot so I'm not gonna fold it more right now before it's totally dry I'm gonna move to my extra piece uh, I'm gonna be using ink from Spectrum Noir this Harmony line uh, seal brown and I'm gonna distress all this piece from uh, both sides everything all these folds I'm gonna distress with this ink and for distressing I'm gonna be using this brush so just very easily add the ink on the brush and apply on the edges more circles I will do more darker it will get so I do have my distress ink with that seal brown and now I do have distress ink from Ranger uh, designed by Tim Holtz and this is vintage photo and I'm gonna add with this vintage photo few shades same distress inks I'm gonna be using in the cover 
So with the same Distress inks, I'm gonna add colors to my cover. I'm gonna be also using Tim Holtz stencils and I will add kind of like uh, coffee stains and spots with these uh, stencils and using same Distress inks. Same I'm gonna be using for making coffee spots and stains on this extra paper which I will later add to my book cover. If you don't have stencil like this, you can always use your coffee mug, make a coffee, very strong coffee, then dip the mug to that coffee and then place it on your paper. It makes beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful these marks. So I've, I have added all these uh, spots and stains on my paper. Now I'm gonna fold it up and this way, this side, these two, I'm gonna sew together using my sewing machine. So now I do have pocket here, I do have folder here and I can open it this way. From the off-cut paper which I had left over from this uh, sheet, I'm gonna cut two pieces in this leg. So I'm gonna cut the piece right here, fold it on half and cut it again. And fold these two pieces on half. And on both I'm gonna cut the corners from the open side to the corner to that folded side. And again from the open side to that folded side. These two pieces, here I do have that sewn pocket, here it's my piece with tab and then is this fold underneath. So I'm gonna flip it this way and on this last fold, last piece of paper, I'm gonna glue here one piece and here another piece with the open sides inside to that paper. This I will use to glue my pocket on the back cover so that way I will have there bigger space. So once again flip it this way, apply the glue and with that open side inside that paper and make a position on the end of this page. gonna apply the glue here and again with the open side to inside to that paper and this is ready to be glued right here but before I will do so I'm gonna decorate it so as I said, I'm gonna be using this uh, that bunch of images from Ama uh, Amazon <laughs> Amsterdam collection. I distressed them all. Sorry for my hands. I still have a little bit of distress ink on my hands. I do have here my decorative tray with all kind of stamped images and printed quotes and these wooden pieces and these slot cards and washi tapes, stickers and brats. And with that, uh, I will try to decorate the piece. So I think here I'm gonna start with washi tapes in the background. I'm gonna do just some very quick and easy layout. 
So I'm gonna choose some image which I would like to have here on the front. So I pull out also this label and I'm thinking I will place it somewhere here. And I'm thinking to use uh, decorative stamp. This is La Blanche stamp. I can manage to put the decoration around. So I'm gonna glue the label first. And I'm gonna place here also small brats as a decoration. This will be there, and this will be right here. And I'm gonna glue all this on piece of book page. Fussy cut out around. And also at the small strip of brown tape and piece of same brown tape I'm gonna place here A little bit of that black tape. And now I can glue it uh, down, but I'm not gonna glue it on all that spot. That's why I placed that book page because now I can create. Uh, another kind of like uh, pocket so I'm gonna put the glue here and on the bottom that will be only spots where I will place a glue so I will have pocket here and pocket behind 
and when I will open it this way I can continue with decorating I do have here this off cut from the image before so here I'm gonna add these stamped images and I'm gonna add the glue on one side here and place my image right next to edge of this paper then I'm gonna put the glue here in that corner and here on the bottom and I'm gonna slide it there and place the image right here now this beautiful city image here on the edge of this page uh, of this image this bottom one and here and I'm gonna place this one right there and here I do have handle with care so that I can glue on all the way And number five, I'm gonna glue right here. So here, this bottom one, gonna be there. This one, this one, and a little bit more. So with this gluing, I just created pocket from here. I can slide something behind. I can take stamps and stamp right here something. So I'm gonna take something from Tim Holtz, but I can stamp there. Hmm. Oh, yeah. here I would like to see this don't to get and maybe here I'm gonna put that captured on the top of my pocket so I'm gonna put the glue just on the bottom of that captured and place it right here and here on the bottom I'm gonna place this image and I'm gonna make it like another pocket so I will place the glue on three sides and glue it right here And this can be opened this way. I think I'm gonna keep there the white space here for now. Maybe I will change my mind later. But right now uh, I'm gonna keep it as it is. I'm gonna take a glue, put the glue on these folds I glued there uh, earlier.
and of course I'm gonna put a glue here as well otherwise it will be not pocket it will be just like belly band and it will be sliding somewhere where I don't want to see it and I'm gonna glue my pocket right here <clears throat> I do have this left over here and I'm gonna cut two strips which are white same like this fold so two small papers And I'm gonna fold them and use them again for making the pocket. I'm gonna glue them right here. So two small strips of paper, fold them. I'm gonna cut from the folded corner to the open edge in angle. And again from the folded corner to open edge in angle. again I'm making those folds for gluing pocket like before on this one and I'm gonna take a glue put the glue on my fold and now with that folded side to the edge of this one right here and I'm gonna take second one And again with that folded side to this edge here I'm gonna put the glue on these folds here and fold this over and here I'm gonna save it and clip it with paper clips and let it dry So I have added uh, some kind of layout on the back cover of my journal as well to make this opening beautiful and I added a small layout on the front cover as well of this little journal. I do have uh, inside some, uh, some ephemeras and here in this pocket I added in the size of my passport, little passport for traveling. I'm gonna flip it over. I do have prepared for the cover also corners and closure. So I've got here these beautiful bronze co uh, book cover, uh, book corners, not covers, book corners, and this beautiful closure. And I, I would like to try to fit it in. So first, I will add there these corners. So here it should be quite easy. I will have to add their only glue and then keep them as they are. I will don't have to hammer them. So for gluing these book corners, I'm gonna be using a super glue. And I will add a super glue over the corner of my book cover. And slide there the corner eh? and I will try to not glue myself same I'm gonna do on that opposite side Just add super glue here on that corner. Take the corner and slide it over. And just slightly knock on these opposite corners. I'm gonna add the super glue at the corner and from this side I'm gonna 
smash it down. Same on that other one. And there the corner, corner, flip it over. And fix it. So that's this one. I do have those decorative corners. Same corners I'm gonna add to the book. And now this closure. I'm gonna find the middle of my book cover. So here is a middle of my book cover. I'm gonna take this closure and I will add it right here. So I'm gonna fix the top closure. I'm gonna be using a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna add the hot glue here in this spot and then slide it right here to the edge of my book cover and fix the brats. So poke the holes again. Slide one and the second one and fix them from the opposite side. We do have fixed the top a closure. I'm gonna open it. Put the book inside and I'm gonna close the book and place my uh, cover over. I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna put the glue here and here. Light the closure and place it to my cover. So I'm gonna hold it here for a few seconds. I'm gonna take off the journal and again, same like before, poke the holes and add their brats. And I'm gonna press it with my scissors to make sure it's flat, flat. So from here and here I'm gonna secure and cover this with medical tape. It's strong enough and it's invisible kind of-ish. So it will cover the ends of these brats. And this is my a little creation. So you can open it. You do have your little journal. And you do have space for passport, maybe for some tickets, for another tickets, for some notes, and for more notes, and <laughs> for another passport or flight ticket, or some more important, uh, important notes. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration. Even little journals can be a lot of fun and a lot of creation, creativity. Uh, thank you so much for spending your time with me. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.